For the first time since the first season in this expansion series, the Aztecs have returned to the postseason with a planned tournament berth against the OKC Thunder in the seven seed game. Whoever wins this game, as evident by the name, wins the seven seed in the conference and the loser will have one more chance to win the eight seed against the winner of Memphis and the Denver Nuggets. But ever since the All-Star break, we have seen this team decline and decline and decline. Players like Dalton Connect have not shot quite as well, especially from three. He has been a pretty big eyesore on the court the last couple of games watched. We have seen Max Christie hit a couple of shots, but not really do a whole lot else and still miss plenty of shots himself as well. We've seen John Cobb have a couple of great games, a couple of bad shooting days. We've seen Moore be actually one of our most consistent players with his play. Dylan Young has had a pretty strong finish to his rookie season, but guys like David Dennis, Rozier, missing open shots, not giving us consistent shooting, and Without Mark Williams, we have relied on James Wiseman off the bench, who's been a pretty solid option offensively, but defensively, he has been pretty much a traffic cone. So things have not gone well for us. We have gone from like 13, 14 games over 500 to finishing the year 44 and 38. And we are now in the playing tournament after playing ourselves out of a top six seed. So right now, here's what is at stake. We have the seven seed at stake, but then if we lose this game, our entire season and playoff hopes are on the line. So these next two games matter a lot. And the Thunder coming in are going to have Jalen Williams and Chet Holmgren, but it looks like they're going to be missing Shea Gildas Alexander, who is out with an injury. He tore his left ACL. He's done for the year. They get Holmgren back late in the season. But now they're going to play, I guess, Cameron Winston as their two guard. They still got Topic, who is one of their best players all year long. So still some star talent on this team, but they're missing their best player. And we are missing Mark Williams. Not quite the same, but still two big injuries for both teams. And so here we go against Oklahoma City with a lot to play for, a lot at stake in this game. The planned tournament starts now. Here we go, the planned tournament officially tips off. Can we overcome our recent struggles and can the Thunder overcome their injury to their star player, Shea Gildas Alexander? Dylan Young stays in our starting five. Here we go. Young to Kylan Moore. First shot of the day. Hits the back iron and comes out. Up to Topic. Open three-pointer. That one's not going to go either. Bad inside to Moore. Back and down. Holmgren going up and he's rejected. Cobb tracks it down but misses the putback attempts. So Holmgren now steps in as their go-to offensive and defensive player with Alexander being out. Deep three for Jalen Williams and he laces it from downtown. He's averaged over 18 points per game here at home, just about five assists per game. They need him, Topic, and Chet all to step up here in this game with playoff hopes on the line for both teams. Here's Ka, back door to Kylan Moore for our first points. Screen set by Topic. Holmgren driving and fouls. And that foul will go against the rookie Kylan Moore. Holmgren just below 23 points per game this year. I think Topic was a bit higher than him on uh, the uh, scoring side of things, but he's definitely their best defensive player. No questions about that. And now Dennis lost the handle, knocked away by Topic. Fast break, right back to Topic. And he got it to go. Five point lead for the Thunder early on. Pulling up, and Dennis is on the board with that jump shot. 
He's had a couple of good games, a couple of games where he has really struggled and, you know, shot the ball pretty inconsistently, but hoping for him to just give us some offense here in this game. And every quarter, as Cam Winston puts in his first bucket, and it's a quick nine points for Oklahoma City. With Cobb out to Dennis, a foot inside the arc. The open shot's not going to drop in for him. It's shots like that that have to go in as Williams can't get the roll. And that's some pretty solid defense by Dylan Young. Lobbing it for Dennis right over the top of Topic. And they link up for the bucket. Aztecs off to a 3 for 7 start. Thunder 3 for 5. But Dylan Young comes in after we benched Connect and Jalen Williams rattles home that open trifecta. They have doubled their lead to six, but Young coming in has been a very athletic playmaker for us on offense, especially as Cobb just passed up an open shot from downtown. And we find a bucket on this possession. Shot clock under five. Dennis has it and this is gonna keep it himself. Williams, good crossover, handing off to Andrew Wiggins who misses the open mid-range jumper. And the rebound goes to Jairus Walker. Screen comes up, Young leaves it for more at the rim for the easy deuce. The rookies link up again. Holmgren, catch and shoots. That's soft line. Dennis downhill. Help gets there late to the foul is called on Topic. That's the first on the Thunder here in this opening quarter of play. So Dennis at one point was averaging about 22 points per game. That has fallen to 19 points per game after these last two months of the season. His free throws are both good, though, and it's back to a one-score game. On forward inside, it's Holmgren. Back and down, Kylan Moore. Good defense by the rookie. Holmgren leaves it for Wiggins. The three offline, but the tip-in will go from Shets. And we're going to talk things over. Yon Young comes out of the game. Connect comes in, and Dennis is now two for three from the field. Cobb is yet to score, but we at least are keeping pace with the Thunder in the first five and a half minutes of action. That's all I can ask for at this point, given how we played the uh, last couple games. Williams, bounce pass, stolen away by Wiseman. Good defensive play, rare one from him. Ball screen setting up. Here's an open look for Cobb. And he's finally on the board and he puts us in the lead. Winston finds Wiggins behind the arc and the answer is right back. Slight mismatch inside for Kylan Moore. He spins off a double team. Now finds Wiseman behind the arc. Good recovery on defense by the Thunder. Connect will fire three, but can't stick it. And if he can't get going early on, I'm going to have some worries about playing him the rest of the game. Open three on the fast break. No good from Holmgren. We get it back. Wiseman lobs it up for Dennis. His second alley-oop going up to get it. What a pass there by Wiseman. Just great. 1-2 punch from Cobb to Wiseman up to Dennis. Nice couple of plays back to back and now stolen away. Deflection by Kylan Moore. Another mismatch on the low block for Moore. Holmgren comes over. Moore in the corner to Wiseman and now shot clock winding down. Connect driving, missing the floater. Tough shot over one of the best on ball defenders in the league. Out to Topic, mid-range jumper, he got the bounce off the window. And three games against the Aztecs this year, Topic has averaged 25 points and 8 assists a game. 
as Walker just lost the ball. That was a good pass by Rozier, but Walker couldn't handle it, and so now connects. Will foul Wiggins on the other end. First free throw will find its way through. And the back end is out. Connect with the board. We trail by three. Can we come back and tie things up here? Well, Cobb's going to try to, and he does. Shot clock under five. Wiggins crosses over against Connect. Over two defenders. It rattles out. The rebound is pulled down by Jairus Walker. They can roll. Connect will keep it. Dicing inside and fouled by Lugan Stortz. Couple of free throws to hopefully put us back in the lead. Connect so far this year. 82% at the line, but the front end is no good. Christy and Dennis check back in. Under three to go in the quarter. Connect will split them. Downhill and blowing by Dennis, but he can't finish. That is Ryan with the miss right there. Big miss because that was a wide open bucket. Dennis then fires a three, but it's in and out. And Holmgren will pull it down. It is actually Todd wearing number 11. Not too uh, familiar with him, but he is now 0 for 2 from the field. Aztecs leading by one, and Walker just goes right at Todd on the fast break. And will push our lead up to three. It's fed down low to Holmgren. He's been quiet offensively, but as I see it, hits the fadeaway. Good screen set by Wiseman. He rolls inside. Does not get the pass until a couple of seconds later and misses the shots. Good low post defense there by Holmgren. Up ahead to Ryan. There he is for his first points. The Thunder jump back in front. Dennis fires and knocks in another mid-range jump shot. He's had a couple of tough ones. The easy ones have not gone in. But he's already got 10 points, I believe, here in the first quarter with a couple of jump shots and alley-oops. And now a steal up to a fast break jam. What a start for David Dennis. Todd comes off a screen, finds space, but the three will not drop in for him. Christie up to Wiseman through the contact with the bucket and the foul on Ryan. Some quick offense off these missed shots and turnovers, and Wiseman's free throw is good. We've got 30 first quarter points and still can add to it. Here's Williams back in. His shot is clean and through from the top of the key to cut our lead in half. No shot clock left here in the first. Rozier going right at Dort, spinning, and does not get the roll to go. And the quarter comes to an end with the Aztecs leading 30-27. to Solid starts. Let's see where this goes. Well, so far, it has been the David Dennis show through the first quarter as Capella gets back door on Kylan Moore and dunks that one in to close the game back to one. It's been very back and forth trading leads, but right now we have the very slim advantage. Walker leaves it for Cobb. Catch and shoot mid range jumpers. Not going to go for him. Shot clock under five, open look for Jalen Williams, but it's not going to drop in. Island Moore goes behind the back, throws up a wild shot. Don't see too many of those from him, and now up to Williams to put the Thunder back in front. Six lead changes, two ties so far in the early goings of this one. 
Walker the screen. Cobb has room, fires a triple, but it's not going to drop in for him either. Isolation now, and Williams lost it immediately. Jarred away in. At his pocket picked by Jairus Walker. Back door, Cobb draws two defenders. They get back on defense. Now it's Connect who has the ball. Rozier has a clean look from behind the arc, and he cans it. Capella, the screen. Williams back to him on the pick and roll. It works again. Driving. Cobb stutter steps and lost the ball. Williams picks up that steal. Fast break to Dort and a bad foul by Dennis. Will put him at the line as well. Can't do that. He's going to score regardless on plays like those. Just a uh, lapse in judgments. The free throw is off the rim, though, lucky for us. And it's still a two-point ball game. Yabasele checks in. Now a handoff to Dennis. His pull-up jumper rattles out. And Capella's right there for the rebound. Time winding down. Dort pumps a couple of times. Leaves it for Ryan. His three's no good. Ball tipped out of bounds off of the Aztecs. It will stay with the Thunder with 14 on the shot clock. Williams. The screen. Wiggins. Pump fakes. And has to shoot. And he got the lucky bounce. Wiseman going after Capella and it's out of bounds off of him. Picked set by Capella. Williams picked up by two defenders and that shot's not going to go but only three points so far for the offense in the quarter. Can we add to it? Dennis says yes we can. 16 points on 64% shooting to start this game. Big starts and a big spot for our young second-year point guard. And now he deflects the pass, but it stays with the Thunder. Capella inside, left it short. And now a chance for us to tie or take the lead on this possession. Wiseman hands it off, and Cobb's wide open below the rim. Here's Topic with it. Crossing over, driving. Great defense, but better offense. Really tough shot from Topic. He has averaged about a point or two less, actually, than Chet Holmgren so far this year. Or really, this year it's not so far. The year's pretty much over. But here's Connects on the pick and roll over the top to Wiseman, who throws it down. We're keeping pace, but can we outpace them the rest of the half? Under six to play. Williams penetrates Wiseman with some help and Topic cashes in from deep. Tough shot again. Back door, quick bucket up to Wiseman. As I said, he's been really strong for us offensively. It's defense where he becomes a problem, but so far that's not really been the case. I've liked his play thus far. Now Williams wants to drive it. Yabasele stays in front and is still called for the foul, but I think it's going to go and get Cobb instead. I mean, that was definitely either a block or a foul on Cobb, not Yabasele. But he will get the, get the credit for it. And the first free throw from Williams is up and good. And the Thunder lead by three. Alan Moore back in. He finds Dennis, sets the screen. Dennis finds a back door below the rim. Out to connects. Good defense by OKC. And the three is in and out. Where have we seen this before? Top of the key. Topic downhill. Picked up by Dennis. Handing off to Williams. His shot's going to rattle in. Christie lobs it for Dennis. This time it goes off the backboard, but it's tracked down by Kylan Moore. Shot clock does not reset. 
Open look though, and Dennis missed it this time. But Wiseman pulls it down. Dennis leaves it for Kylan Moore, who rocks the rim. Catch and shoot three. Cameron Winston in and out. Unlucky for him. That was going to drop in like nine times out of ten. What is that shot? Wiseman just tried one of the worst shots he'll ever take. Good grief. Winston penetrates and has it rejected. Help defense. Perfect from Kylan Moore. And now a contested three for Holmgren. Rims out. A three could tie things up. Connect inside with the deuce. His first points. Or I guess his first field goal. Off the screen. Winston behind the arc. No dice. Rebound pulled down by Kylan Moore. Christie pushes the tempo and will draw the foul on Wiggins. Two and a half to go in the first half. And Cobb is going to check in for the rest of the half. And the free throws are split. Got to hit the free throws, man. I keep saying it, but keep not doing it. Here's Topic over Dennis. Not going to go this time. And Dennis now hot from the field on both offense and defense. Highland Moore fades for the lead, but left it short off the window. Holmgren shrugs off his defender, but can't get the shot to go. It's still been a quiet game for him as Jarris Walker laces it from deep on the fast break. An 8-0 Aztecs from the last two minutes and change. Can we keep it going and finish this first half strong? Left for Winston. Where is John Cobb going? No idea what just happened there, but it's uh, easy buckets. Cannot be allowing those. And now a quick bucket on the other end. Uh, the assist goes to Dennis. We have shot 52%. And so far it's been Dennis... Wiseman, Kylan Moore, our main go-to offensive weapons. Topic has a screen from Holmgren. He rises, it rattles out. Here's our chance to double up before the half. Walker goes up, blocked by Wiggins. He gets it back and keeps it alive. Good hustle play right there. Cobb. With it now, shot clock under five, up against Winston. Can't shake him loose, will fire anyways, and it's gonna go. Last shot for OKC. Here's Holmgren, over Walker. They're gonna count the foul, are you serious? Tough buckets with the foul as well. I can't believe that call. Free throw. Good. We will have five seconds to get up the court and put off a shot. Cobb just three quarters courts. No good. We lead by two at the break. 53 51. Anybody's game to the first two quarters. Second half underway after two big first halves from David Dennis and Jalen Williams. And the Thunder will jump right back in front with that wide open three from Cameron Winston. Trying to get Cobb open here on this play. He's got it inside the paint. And Moore puts it back in with authority. All the way up ahead. And Dylan Young was not... Paying attention there and just allowed that quick pass to Wiggins for the easy deuce to put the Thunder right back in the lead by one. He has not scored so far in this game. Had a couple of nice passes there in the first quarter. Did not play hardly at all in the seconds. And now he finds more again. Corner screen sets. Wiggins finds Holmgren behind Moore. 
Up to Young, who lobs it way too early for Jarris Walker. Not on the same page at all. Now Williams drives inside, nearly got the buckets. He does get the foul though on Dennis. It's number two on him. Brought in good. 15 point first half for Williams and now his first points come at the line here in the third. Another shot clock winding down. Young with the three, no good, but Moore just goes right over Holmgren, pulls it down and puts it back in with the foul. 14 points for Kyle and Moore already, seven for 12. He and Dennis have taken over the offense. John Cobb has not really been as involved. And so far we have just been neck and neck with the Thunder in the first two and change of the game as Williams can't get the jump shot to drop. Screen from Moore, rolling inside. Dennis shuffles it, good pass and a better finish. Screen set by Holmgren. Topic with the clock winding down, leaves it for Wiggins who has to jack it up and how many times have we seen that happen? A last second three dropping in, and the Thunder jump right back in front. What a game so far, back and forth, neck and neck, trading blows every single time down the court. Here's Jarris Walker with the response right on cue. Inside, Tolpich coasting in, and he nearly missed it, but nearly doesn't count. It's going to go in. We're tied at 65. It's left for Cobb. Catch and shoot. Wide open. It's not going to drop. He has not been elite from downtown by any means so far in this game, as Tolpich lost it, and Wiggins able to track it down and keep it alive. Clock now under 10 for OKC. And Topic strives and turns it over. Good play by Dennis. Nearly got the jam, but he's fell at the rim by Topic. Good baseline take right there. Looking for his first points of the half, and they come at the free throw line about halfway through the third. But he shot the ball very well and has shot his free throws well, too. Wiggins isos on connects, rises over him, but cannot hit the jump shots. A chance to extend the lead beyond just one bucket here on this possession as we lead 67 65. High ball screen set by Moore. Dennis keeps it. Nobody else in the paint besides Topic. And he's stuffed. Dennis gets it back, but can't hit. And we get it right back off a of bad pass by Holmgren. Fast break. And Moore has 19 already. He could be headed for perhaps a career game in his first postseason appearance. And Cy, what a pass, but it's blocked. Williams can't finish. Cobb fires, top of the key, and rattles it in. We have our largest lead of the afternoon, 72 to 65. That assist goes to Jarris Walker. That was a tough shot for Cobb. And now a 2-3 zone leads to a wide open miss for Jalen Williams. We have not used that zone that often as Connect finishes on the backdoor cut and the offense has come to life. Another assist for Jarris Walker. But I want to avoid that 2-3 zone here. We're back to a man defense right now. And Tolpitz will drive and finish over David Dennis. He has been pretty solid so far. And now he steals it off of Dennis. Just picked his pockets. One-on-one -on -one fast break, and he shrugs him off again for the score. Dennis from downtown. Not going to go. 
So has yet to hit a field goal in the third quarter after a very promising first half. Can somebody else step up just besides Kylan Moore? Here's Williams now waiting for a screen from Holmgren. He finds space. Can connect. Holmgren on the glass. Bucket and foul. Pop tried to box him out. Tried to stop that bucket from going in, but instead makes a mistake. The free throw will cut it back to two. We had a nine-point lead, and now we don't. Connect. Downhill. Pulls up. Missed it, and Holmgren on the glass. Back door to Topic. Back out. Dort has to shoot. Another shot clock beating triple. Are you serious? We had a hand up too, but it's just not going to matter. Thunder back in front, an 11 0 run. Yabasele. Inside and missed it. It's actually a 10 0 run, by the way, by OKC. Catch and shoot, and Topic missed it. Oh, that was wide open. Lucky break for our defense. Can the offense get back on track right after? I kind of jinxed us there earlier. Shot clock under five. Cobb. Drives on Dort and finishes. Topic finds room again and this time makes no mistake. He's got 18 points, half of that coming here in the third. Connects, penetrates, leaves it for Wiseman. He gets around Capella, but can't finish at the rim. That was a good chance right there to tie things up. Topic lobs it for Capella. Behind the arc. Kaboom for Cobb. Big shot. It's back to within one. Eyeball screen. Downhill. Topic another and one. Taking over here in this third quarter. And the free throw to push their lead back to four is no good. Yoan Young comes in for the rebounds. And he's going to rattle off a triple, but it's not going to go. Holmgren to Naismith. His jumper is offline. No shot clock left here in the third quarter. Aztecs troll by three. Cobb drives. Help is there, but it's going to be a foul on Holmgren, who was the help man. First free throw is good. And the back end is good as well. Good shots at the line. And now OKC has the final shots of the quarter. Holmgren with it. Got a mismatch somewhere. Dort's open in the corner for a three, but he missed it. It was wide open. And the Thunder lead by one with 12 minutes left to play in regulation. What a game it's been. We can still win this game easily. Fourth quarter begins with the Aztecs in possession of the ball. Rozier finds Wiseman, and he's fouled on the dunk. That's the first on Capella. Good way to open the fourth, jump right back in the lead. And the free throw is in. Screen set by Ryan. Williams pumps a couple of times and then misses the actual shot. Wiseman gives it right back. Naismith cuts off the pass. Fast break. Ryan to Williams. Mid-range jump shots in and out. Now back door. It's Christie rejected by Williams. Two good defensive plays back to back by the Thunder. And this time they'll put it in for two. And we're tied at 84. 21 lead changes 
nine ties. It has been close the entire way since the opening tip. Wiseman on the roll again. Shot clock under five, and Williams nails the step back, but a foot on the line will keep it at a tie ball game again. Neither team can find a way to pull away. And the one time that we did, they had a run of their own right after. Wiseman has seven points already in the quarter in the first two minutes. They got to find a shot here. Williams attacks the baskets and draws the foul. Coach James not a fan of that one, but Williams looking for point number 20, and he is going to get it on the front end. Dennis checks in for the Aztecs, as does Yabasele, and we're just trading buckets, trading ties and leads to open the fourth again. Good defense by Lou Dort. Christie picks up his dribble, has to fire, and misses the scoop. And they're going to push the tempo up to Ryan. He falls his own shots, and will flush it back in to put the Thunder on top, and the crowd loves it here in Oklahoma. Coming off the pick, Christie back out to Yabasele. His three is no good. Now lobbing it, and despite it not being well-timed, Ryan's still right there to put it in for two. And he was fouled. The free throw will go. A couple of big plays here in the second half by Ryan. And the Thunder lead by five. Kopic back on the floor for the Thunder. Connect back door. How do you miss that? At least he got it back and keeps it alive. Dennis. Downhill. And finishing through some contact. He wants a foul call, but he's not going to get it. Now he's got 20 points. Topic. Another three. He will not let up. Christie rises, but misses the jump shots. I don't think he's scored so far in this one. Williams over Wiseman. Ball's tipped up. Good block right there. Can we turn this into some offense? Quick shot for Christie behind the arc, and he can't connect. Dort lost it, more Jordy loose, and it will go the other way, Aztecs take over. Cobb comes in, has a good look, and immediately knocks it down to cut their lead in half. Dort, baseline, finds Wiggins, how is that a foul, it's got to be a clean block, man. Ah, oh, unlucky call. But will we get Clutch Cobb down the stretch? We've seen him take over late in games that are close, just like this one. And now it's our biggest game of the season to this point. Wiggins goes one for two. Cobb draws out Wiggins. Goes to work against him. Takes him down low. No help's gonna come! What the hell was that? Oh my god, he just... Zoomed up to a re re reverse dunk all over Wiggins. And he was fouled. The free throw is going to drop. What a play. Holmgren in the screen. Williams finds Topic on the cut. And Wiseman gets there for the rejection. Good play on defense again by him. Couple of nice fourth quarter blocks and now a chance to retake the lead with under six to play in the fourth. Cobb has it. Finds Dennis, wide open three, and he can't get it to drop. He has missed the open ones, has not missed the tough ones. 
Holmgren. Contested. No. And Capella misses the tip. A lucky break. Another chance to jump in front. Back and down. Williams. Left-handed shot. And it just rolls off the rim. Topic to Holmgren. Not going to go this time either. But handoff. Connects. Finds the open man. Cop for the lead. He got it. Four and a half to play. Still anybody's game as Dylan Young comes in and gives up the easy lay-in to Andrew Wiggins. We are all tied again. Crowd on their feet for their home team. We pull off what I would call kind of an upset here despite them missing SGA. I think they're still probably the favorites. Dennis crosses over, gets inside. Hoop and the harm. The fourth against Nikola Topic and a big late bucket by Dennis to give us a three point lead. I screen. Now Topic with it. Spin range. Jump shot. This guy just cannot miss right now. Good handoff. Dennis downhill. And he's fouled again. That's number five. One more. And Topic is done for the day. But he kind of has to stay in with three and a half left to go. First free throw drops in for Dennis. He has been great at the line tonight. Holmgren sets the pick. Now he gets it back. Against Kylan Moore. So wins it on the cut. And he got behind John Cobb. Dennis gets the handoff. Spins. Back to Walker with space. This time he missed it, but Walker, or more rather, tips it back to himself for the putback. What a play. Kylan Moore stepping up at a big game, one of his best games all season long. Holmgren, out of a shot, finds Topic. We've got to foul this guy out. Cobb. Takes Winston down low, got him up in the air, fires, but left it short. He fired it off too late. Now a one-point game, a chance to jump back in the lead for OKC. Topic will do just that. When was his last field goal miss? I think it was last quarter. Cobb drives and missed again. Winston, great on ball defense. And now we gotta get a stop. But Topic blows by Cobb and missed it. And it's tipped out to Moore. How did Topic miss that shot? I don't know, but it's a lucky break. We can tie things up. Mismatch for Kylan Moore. Double team comes. He's gonna find Cobb outside. Matched up on Holmgren, mid-range, jump shot, missed. Young pulls it down, but lost it. Wiggins jars it loose. The Thunder can take a double, or not a, uh, a two-score lead, but Holmgren missed again. And Moore pulls it down, we have another chance. Cobb crosses over, drives, bucket and foul. You can't give us this many chances. A free throw to put the Aztecs back on top. What a game. The free throw is perfect. And just like that, the Thunder trail with 48 seconds left. It has been one of the closest games of the series so far. Shades of that Cavaliers game a couple episodes back. And a Winston missed it. It's tipped out to Cobb. Cobb, picked up by Winston, takes him down low, good defense, 
Handing off to Walker. Out to Dennis. Has to shoot. It's no good. There's no shot clock left. The Thunder can win it. And will they save for the final shot? Yes, they will. It all comes down to this. Holmgren against Dennis. Steps back. Has to shoot. And he got it. He got it for the win. No. They're going to have to look at it at the monitor. But I think he got that shot off. Holmgren over David Dennis. And was the ball out of his hands? It wasn't. You can't count that. You can't. And the Aztecs are going to win. 109, 108. We hang on by a thread. As close as it can possibly be. But we're going to the playoffs. We have clinched the seventh seed. Holy cow. I have never seen a finish that close. What a game. We have seen some absolutely crazy games here in year four. This might top them all. What a fourth quarter. I had no idea who was going to win this game. Not even after that final buzzer rang. But we win by the skin of our own teeth. 30 points for Tolpich. He was amazing in this game. 21 for Jalen Williams after a 15 point first half. And Holmgren just barely not getting that final shot off. And we just barely escape with the win. 32 for Cobb. He really stepped up in that second half. But especially that fourth quarter. Couple of big plays late. Dennis 25, 5 and 8. How about this trio core of Cobb, Dennis, and more? All three guys made absolutely huge plays throughout the and Colin Moore, one player of the game, dropping 21 and 12 on Holmgren. Two assists, two steals, one block. Wiser was actually great off the bench, to my surprise. And uh, despite Christie going 0 for 4, Young going 0 for 2, and not really doing a whole lot besides passing, we still win this game behind our Young core. What a game. That is one of the best we have watched in... The season, which is definitely saying something because we have had some amazing games this year already. And we have secured our very first playoff appearance in the franchise. And we're going to face the Golden State Warriors and Steph Curry, who did secure the two seed. So a rematch of that game from two episodes ago. And they look to be fully healthy. They got Steph. They have Podzemski. They've got Melo Kills, who was killing us last time we saw them. Kuminga, Time Lord, Buchanan off the bench. Yeah, they're a fully healthy team. It's going to be a really, really tough game because they have played very well to close the year. They're 7-3 their last 10 games. And they were one of the top teams in the entire league. But what a win. That was frankly amazing. Really surpassed all expectations. And now we're going to see who will come out on top in the winner of Memphis and Denver. And then that winner will face the Thunder and the rest of the play-in tournament. And it looks like the Denver Nuggets will win two straight games. They will face off against the Houston Rockets. Meanwhile, the Bucks will win and will face the Pacers as the one seed. And the Hawks will face the Pistons, who are the two. So, your playoff bracket is set. And we have our very first playoff episode next time around. 
What a way to make the playoffs, folks. That was a memorable game. One of the best all year. One of the best of the series. And now it's time to really put our heads down, lock in, and hopefully turn our fortunes around. We're going to face Golden State next time. But that will do it here in this one, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like the episode and the video, I guess. Same thing. Subscribe down below. Leave your feedback in the comment section. And I will see y'all in the first round against the Warriors next time. Take care and have a great day.